Hello and welcome, McCastle here. Today we are here in the middle of a forest to talk about how we destroy it. That's right, destroy mod. Um, create add-on that adds chemistry and things like that. And a fun mechanic, or fun, I guess fun isn't probably the right term, but anyway, an interesting mechanic of pollution because, you know, chemicals and all that cause a lot of pollution. So, you know, being the destroy mod, it's gotta, there's gotta be a way to destroy nature, right? So uh, we're gonna be looking at one, how to, not how to do it. I guess, I guess it's not on how to destroy nature. I wanna be clear, I, I love nature. I love hiking and all that kind of stuff. But there are ways to destroy it. And again, we're specifically going to look at what causes the destruction of it, what causes the different pollutions, what the effects of them are, and then also some ways to negate them and clean up your pollution. So let's uh, take a walk over here. I've got some stuff set up and I'll meet you over there. Well, after a short walk in the woods, here we are over at my little setup. And we're going to be looking at a few ways to tell what pollution is going on. We're going to take a look at the different effects of them and all that kind of stuff. So if we look right here, what we have is this pollutometer, which uh, if we look, the recipe is uh, quite expensive. Or, or I guess light, late game, right? So polypropylene, um, which is a, it's, it's a, it's a whole... We haven't gotten into plastics yet because it's, it's quite complicated and we'll be getting to it shortly. But so it's probably propylene is needed to make this. This allows you to measure the pollution in your world. And uh, I just realized it's sunset. So let's uh, let's change the day. Well, a little better. We have some time to talk. Nice little model. It's kind of got like a windmill and a solar panel, some like air sensors type stuff. Uh, I, I think it's a really cool model. I actually like it. And I, I love the fact that they made it the right size as this you know pull here um kind of fits in really well but uh, the issue the issue i have is that to read it you need to add these uh display links and um they're huge and they make it hard to make fun looking nice things like this now there's probably a better way to hide it like i just I, i've attached them to the bottom here and these are what's actually tied up to this here uh, here we're gonna i love the shaders but we're gonna turn them off for a few reasons one it hides some of the effects that we're gonna look at and two we're, we're getting some stuttering i don't know why i need to i need to look at that as you can see here if you right click on them you can change which kind of pollution it is monitoring first you have greenhouse gases ozone depletion mog level rain acidity and then radioactivity so different chemicals released in the air uh, cause these different pollutions. So uh, currently this is zero for each of these. And this is like a progress bar and, and these get solid as you fill it up and um, different negative effects of these get worse as you go along. So first off, uh, the way that these pollutants get in the air is through them being released through different chemical processes. Uh, if you vent your different tanks or your vats or whatever it might be, and that gets released in the air. First off, let's take a look at, look at the chemicals. So if you want to see what a chemical does, you can go in. I love JEI. It shows a lot of stuff. I highly, highly recommend it if you're playing with the Destroy Mod. But if we come in here and we type in, for example, ozone. Ooh, because I can spell. Um, we're actually able to search these. So if I hover over this, for example, chlorine, you see it's it's acutely toxic, so it actually will poison you if you have it. Ozone depleter or smelly. So these different chemicals will show you the different properties. So these are all the ozone depleter ones, and some of them cause multiple effects. Some of them only cause one, whatever it might be, right? I can see, for example, R11, smog amplifier, ozone depleter, and greenhouse gas. So it's kind of nothing but the acid rain for us here. Um, and then the radioactivity, right? Which I don't, I'm going to be honest, that's the one I don't really know how to cause it. So we're going to, we might take a look at that here. But I've got these set up so this uh, creative fluid tank will actually just pump out some of these gases. So let's come in here. Let's actually look at an acid rain. Some sulfur trioxide. I'm sure that's super great to pump into the air. Um, and as you can see, these little puffs of smoke go up. Basically, um, if I was in survival, I'd probably get, be getting poisoned. Um, as you can see, there's not, not really much acid rain going up. Um, because it takes quite a bit of pollution in order to affect it. Now, if we look here, this is not filling up. Interesting. I think it has something to do with when these are replaced. There it goes. So now the sulfur trioxide is coming here. So this is the one of the ways I've found to be the most effective <laughs> is when you have a full tank of something, you bring it over. And for some reason, I feel like that actually releases more than just doing this. So you can see here, still no acid rain, but as I break these you'll see the smoke's going up still not a lot so I, when i was doing tests on this i had these giant tanks that i put on contraption that i copy and paste them delete a bunch of them and i actually started going up pretty quickly luckily 
I'm in creative and I can use the pollution command, not the polymorph one. Pollution. Now, if you see here, there's the, the five different types of pollution. So let's do acid rain and I can add query or set. So let's do a query and it tells us we have a level of nine, uh, 1098. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's millibuckets, buckets, probably not buckets. Um, now we're pumping into the air right now and you can see it went down maybe hmm. what okay so what's probably happening here is there's ways to decrease and acid rain can be decreased over time by trees we're in a forest here lots of trees probably had a big release from the tank i broke and then now that the tank is you know that that big release is gone it's not actually producing enough from this so no it's still going down so uh, obviously this isn't releasing enough uh, to compensate but that big release from the tank seemed to for some reason, um, put more pollutants in the air. In fact, I don't know if this actually does anything, which maybe that's a bug. So let's take a look at the um, acid rain here. So I'm actually gonna go do this, but instead of quarry, let me say, let's add 5,000. Right. That's an arbitrary number. Uh, set level for a reload may be required for some of these changes to take effect. Oh, okay. So it sounds like doing the commands doesn't maybe take effect as well as it actually getting released actually, which is interesting. But you can see 5,000, which give us, you know, what, 6,800, whatever. Bump this up. So there we go. Now we're moving up. So I don't know what the threshold is, but let's maybe add 50,000. Oh, there we go. All right. So 50,000 obviously is, is a lot more. Now, what does this do? So acid rain will turn your rain greener. Your crops will be less likely to grow. So, so these different things have different effects. So acid rain, your crops will be less likely to grow. Exposed organic blocks have an increased chance of being destroyed when it rains which is interesting. So let's make it rain. Now, as we can see, the acid or the rain is dark blue. That's probably where the reload comes in, but you can hear like the leaves and stuff break and actually grass turning into dirt. So I'm gonna do a quick reload of the world to see if it turns the rain green, cause I know it will. All right, there we go. There we go. So now our brain is bright green. Obviously we've got a ton of a pollutant here. Our grass is gonna start slowly turning into dirt. And the leaves on our trees are going to be slowly eaten away by the rain as well. You can see here, going bye bye. So I'm actually going to let that run for a little bit. We're going to see just how much this takes effect. So this is kind of a, an interesting one because the you know more it runs, the less greenery there is and the less it depletes. But if I do another query, you can see that our, our level is going down slowly. We're still decreasing, and our leaves are breaking. So if we let this run long enough we'll see that the leaves kind of actually start depopulating themselves so i'm going to zoom out here we're going to let this run for uh, a few minutes and we'll just kind of watch it depopulate our, our <laughs> foliage here Okay, well, I was going to let the rainstorm kind of work its way out, but I don't know if uh, artificially manufactured rainstorms last longer. But I let it go overnight. We saw the sun kind of rise there, and um, you can just see one overnight storm at this level was devastating to the foliage here. I mean, this forest is wrecked. Um, and, you know, the, the grass will grow back. In fact, you, you can see it kind of the grass growing mechanics kind of fight it back but obviously this is this is devastating right now again all these different uh, pollution types decrease over time and uh, planting more trees will actually make them decrease faster i don't know if it's just the act of a tree growing that reduces it or if it is that it counts the least I, i'm not quite sure on that i'll be honest Oh, uh, I didn't have to clear it. Uh -huh. Well, there we go. So there is a full rainstorm completely wrecked this forest. Um, yeah. Wow. That is, that is crazy. Crazy bad. I kind of went out of order, 
But uh, now we have this depressing landscape around us to uh, remind us that pollution's bad. <laughs> let's go down the list here. Um, I, I went out of order. I apologize. We're gonna let's start with greenhouse gases. So greenhouse gases, the outdoor temperature will increase, which affects how the temperature in your vats actually transfers in and out. So it has effects specific to this mod as well as affecting some of the vanilla mechanics that are in the game and then also just like the acid rain i'm gonna turn the mini map off there anyway so just like the acid rain crops will be less likely to grow and actually i believe crops will actually break with the acid rain like any of the organics will actually um, break as well so that includes crops so if we come in here let's search greenhouse you can see that there's a few of these here that cause the greenhouse gases oh, water being one of them apparently so if we fill this with water instead it should slowly do that. but we're gonna do the same thing we did before we're just gonna do a pollution actually here let's see how much it's decreased so just overnight it went down uh, 300 ish so it's gonna take a long time to get rid of that 50,000. These organics didn't die. You didn't break, did you? All right, let's, we're gonna look at them here in a minute. So if we take a look and we query our greenhouse gas, we're at zero. We can go ahead and let's add, let's add around, you know, let's do 25,000. We'll not get too crazy. And eventually the update will go, maybe. Let's set on greenhouse, line one, line two, three, Four, five. Interesting. Well, our greenhouse gases are still at zero for some reason. That is interesting. At least on there. Maybe it can hold more. Add. I don't know. Let's add a hundred thousand. Apparently, adding a hundred thousand. Maybe there's a top limit. Well, that might be a bug. Uh, water isn't doing anything. All right, well, moving on. The next one is ozone depletion. So we look here at ozone again. You can see there's, you know, a few things in here. We could add them to here or whatnot, but let's just, let's just see what happens here. So we go pollution, ozone, query first. We're at zero. Let's do 60,000. Oh, see that one filled up. I think we have to submit a ticket. It looks like that greenhouse might be uh, glitched now ozone outdoor temperature increases again has the whole thing on that and then being outside without sunscreen <laughs> it can cause cancer look up here in the upper right corner i've got a cancer symbol so the only way to get rid of that is some uh some medicine that you can craft and this is a public service announcement Ooh, wear your sunscreen let's go on to the next one the next one is smog now smog actually happens to be kind of the big one here because there's quite a few things that um are effect of uh, that smog effects so first off our vegetation or water will turn browner and brown fog will envelop the landscape so that'll be fun crops will be less likely to grow just like the other ones fishing will yield fewer fish and more junk animals have an increased risk of failing to breed so apparently they can fail to breed uh with the smog and then villagers will put their prices up so let's take a look here we've got our, our uh let's grab some emeralds let's lock this guy in here his prices already gone up so i'm assuming some of these other things actually are increasing the prices too so even though it doesn't say in his notes on um, the wiki they are already <laughs> what a deal all right so let's let's increase the smog and see if that is the case versus query it says zero Let's add, let's just go to the extreme again. That jumped up. Oh! This looks like the current gas prices. <laughs> Maybe that's our problem. Is that is that what's actually causing our problem nowadays within uh, the smog? Smog is what our price Well, we don't have our brown stuff, so I think that's going to air the uh, grass and everything isn't brown, which I think is probably going to come from reloading. So we'll do that real quick. Oh my gosh. All right, well, that is fun. That is, this, this, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, like, the old, like, 1.7 uh, swamp grass. <laughs> oh, that is a, uh, ooh, the brown fog. Look at that. All right, all right. It's pretty cool. I mean, not cool. You can tell, you can tell where the moss is. It's, like, it's glowing. So this is supposed to be the jungle, and it's all, it's all the same color, actually. That's interesting. It was the same color before, and I'm just an idiot. Very possible. Mmm. Lovely. Should we try to breed these two sheep, see if it fails? You end up not failing. It's gonna be a... Oh, and they... 
Is that a, is that a thing? Is that a Minecraft mechanic where they just won't breed sometimes? I, I've never actually seen them fail, so I don't know if like increased chance of fail. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, well, that's fun. All right, and then the last one here is the radioactivity. Now I don't know what causes this. Um, if you search in JEI and try to do radi, it doesn't it doesn't come up. With anything. Now, if we look up some chemicals from it, there are a few that say where is it? Like carcinogens, it just gives you cancer. I don't know if any of these actually call the rate cause the radioactivity. I don't know if this is a future thing or whatever, but it's still we can still increase it here. Corey, we're at zero. We're just gonna add that to see. Oh. Interesting. So the radiation increase caused our greenhouse gases to go up. So this is our radiation one, right? It's set to radioactivity. And this is set to line five. And this this one is set to greenhouse gases. Line one. Alright, well, see, because if I change this, let's say I change it to line six. Well that one won't reset, but um yeah. Okay, well, lame. I mean, lame that this won't reset. <laughs> no. I know it's a bug. Bugs just happen. That's part of uh, development of any sort of code. But all right, so there we have it. Some radiation. I'm assuming that causes cancer too. Uh, it doesn't actually. There's no notes on what that will do or how to reduce it or anything like that. So um, I guess we need to go around and plant some trees so that we. Uh, oh man, this looks this looks dirty. Or you know, since we're in creative, here's the thing. So this looks you know gross and all that kind of stuff. But if I turn my shaders on, you see it. it the color of the grass stays that way, um, but the water color doesn't change, and our brown fog went away. So shaders aren't compatible with all these effects or whatever, and this this water doesn't look browner. So here we go. We're gonna make our mistakes better. We'll plant some trees. Promote good uh, good health, good air, good all of that. Or since we're, since we're creative, we can just go like this. Oh, and just like that, it's gone. Oh, that's much better. We'll turn our shaders back on now that our grass and everything looks better. Uh, I guess the moral of the story is plant trees. Trees are great. Trees trees are really good. Just, you know. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. Anyway, uh, actually here. <laughs> I want to see if our prices went down. Oh, they came back down. I mean, they're not great, but they're... They're better than better than they were. Better than better. Inflation can be reversed. All you gotta do is plant trees. See, see, and maybe chop down these old ones so that our forest doesn't. At least I'll like the little brown patches went away. I wonder how many rainstorms it would take to turn this into a. No, 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 no. We're not doing it. Where were we? Oh yeah, plant trees. Trees are great. Anyway, that's been it for this video on pollution using the destroy mod. Um, let me know if you have any comments. If I missed anything, I, I could have easily miss something if you have any tips tricks blah blah or if you've got a mod or a mechanic inside the destroy mod that you want to look at or any other create add-on or just any other mod in general i love to look at mods that don't have a lot of coverage um i think that's kind of uh how i got started i like to see coverage for those mods that don't get that attention so anyway thanks you all for watching um leave a comment and all that kind of stuff and we will catch you next time go plant some trees uh, i'm gonna go plant a tree in my backyard so you can breathe better. You're still watching. Look into my tree green eyes. That was weird. Alright, bye.